Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm building a bed with storage. The design of the bed has some continuous wood grain and storage underneath. Let me show you the design. I start off with making a simple block to show the customer the proportions uh, of the bed. And from there on, I added details on curve bending and where the wood slats needed to be made to rest in the bed and the underneath storage and how it opens. The construction started with sawing curves at the table saw. This took some experimenting with the correct depth, not even uh, the width of the curves or the uh, distance between the curves. I'm using birch plywood. The quality is CP. This allows for some visual distortion in the plywood, uh, which is not a problem, which is actually quite good. It, ha it added some, uh, some character to the wood. I used a shape and a mold to consistently bend and glue the curves. A border of plywood is attached to the edge of the bed. This is for stiffness and strengthens the bend corners. The corners are kept long to cut them off at the appropriate length. The assemblies are fitted and suited with the grain. This also helps, helps checking the bend and fi fi filtering out inconsistencies there. With domino joinery, the bends get attached to the straight pieces. Later on, screws are also used for pulling the stuff tight. The curves were filled with white acrylic fil filler. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. At that point the assembly could start, at the foundation a border gets placed and there in half lap crosses uh, get placed um, to keep uh, the middle uh, section up. On top stroke, strokes with air gaps get placed, uh, strokes the wood. The storage assembly gets placed. The air cap is important not to let the bed feel too warm when you sleep, so you have enough ventilation. To span the middle, a steel bar gets placed for stiffness, um, but keeping enough flex there. One side receives a set of door hinges to help with the opening uh, of the top. After assembly, the parts get sanded shortly and a layer of oil is applied.
then I could install at the customer's place. Right here I put everything together with the right amount of screws at the joints. Here you can see the orientation of the slats, steel bar and optional middle support. This is also actually a half lap cross. The top part gets held up with a pulley and a cord and an extra loop to have, to have a standard open position uh, in the room. And then it was finished. It was a cool project and thanks for watching.